On this James the Bike Guy, we're going to go over how to convert a DT Swiss 370 from the three Paul internals to the DT Swiss Star Ratchet internals. So I've seen online that uh, some people claim you can or you cannot do this, but I'm going to show you how to do it and what parts and tools are needed. So we'll start with taking apart this DT Swiss 370. To do that, all we have to do is pull apart our axle end cap. You can put the end cap aside, pull apart your DT370 hub. You can see that this is indeed the three pawl version of this hub. Put the parts aside. Now at this point, you'll have your bushing that's inside that's going to come off the axle as well. And then now you're going to need to use a DT Swiss tool for the 370 hub. So that's going to slide right in. And at this point, it's just going to turn lefty loosey. to remove your drive ring. So here we've got the three Paul drive ring that came out of our 370 hub. So before we install our DT Swiss star ratchet free hub body into the 370 hub, let's go over a few of the parts here. So this was the three Paul free hub body out of the 370. We've got the drive ring that came out of it. You then have your end cap and then your bushing. Now you do need to make sure that you have the tool to be able to remove this. This part's crucial because the 370 tool is different than the star ratchet style. In this case, I'm going to be installing on the 370 hub a 11 speed 240 free hub body. And with that, you're going to need the free hub body for the star ratchet. You're going to need two of the star ratchet springs. You're going to need the bushing for your new free hub body. You're also going to need the spring spacer or the spring shim that goes under the drive ring. And then you have your star ratchet drive ring. So with these parts, you'll also then need the DT Swiss star ratchet tool to be able to swap them over. Now, before we swap the free hub body over, you'll notice that the 240 free hub body, the seal is actually installed on onto the hub of the star ratchet hubs. In the case of the 370, uh, it's actually not. But what you can do is you can remove the seal straight off of the 370 hub, and then you can replace it onto your 240 free hub body. It'll actually slide right into place because the free hub body is made to where a seal can go in. So now we can begin to install our star ratchet parts into it. So you'll notice on the bottom of the star ratchet drive ring, you'll see a spot for that spacer, that spring plate there. And from here, you can slide that tool directly into the drive ring. And then all you're gonna do, slide that on and begin to tighten up the star ratchet drive ring into the 370 hub. Now with that tightened up, you can now take your bushing for the free hub body, slide that right into place. Star ratchet springs will slide right in. Take your two star ratchets on the underside of the 240 free hub body. We then place another spring again with its seal on there. And then now, You just slide it all together. And like that, we've now converted a DT370 to a star ratchet free hub body. And as you can see, the seal that's inside of there seals up perfect. And uh, it's a 240. Well, thanks for watching this video on how to convert a DT Swiss 370 hub to a star ratchet setup. Go ahead and let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this into the future.